Hi guys, this is a short movie on how to take a movie clip or even a full movie across and convert it to a format that will be able to be played on your iPod, iPhone and even your iPad. Uh, it's All the software is freeware so it's pretty much free as can be. Um, the process is all going to be done on Mac for this episode but a future episode will be done for Windows. I hope you guys enjoy and hope this is all helpful. And here we go guys. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to first go over to handbrake.fr and we're going to download handbrake. Obviously we're doing this one on Mac, so we're going to click download for, for Mac. Their new version is 64-bit, which means that it uses all your RAM and runs a hell of a lot faster than the previous versions. We're just going to wait for it to uh, start downloading. I am going to click save file. Okay, I'm going to show in Finder and just double click the file. I'm going to take Handbrake and drop it into my applications folder. Okay, it's all installed. Now let's go have some fun with converting moves. Go to Handbrake and just double click it. Open the file. You can see, guys, I think I'm going to show this for you guys first. The movies file inside my iTunes is clear for now. Okay? We're going to go into Handbrake and we're going to click Source. I'm going, to, I've set up a nice little FLV file that I've downloaded from YouTube. Okay. What's nice about this is if you go into your toggle presets section within Handbrake, you've actually got a lot of different a lot of different formats you can actually play around. In this case, I've got an iPod Touch, so I'm going to do iPhone or iPod Touch. You can also do it for Apple TV, the universal old iPods, or just choose your format, video format. I'm going to push the quality up all the way to 100% because I want it to be full quality. And then I'm also going to now go and choose where I want the folder, where I want it to save the file. So I'm going to put that into my movies folder. So save it there. Okay. Simple two-click process. I'm going to add it to the queue. And I'm going to start the process. Okay, so now it's coming to the end of the conversion process. Once we're done, we're going to now just drag and drop the actual file into iTunes. There we go, and it's finished. There we go, Handbrake queue is done. I'm going to close Handbrake. I'm going to go into Finder to find the file. It's obviously my movies file. There it is, the Waka Waka Baby. There we go, and I'm just going to drag and drop it into my library. And there we go. What we can do now is we're going to plug in our iPod and synchronize the two. Simple as that, guys. Easy peasy, in plain English, nothing complicated about it. Hope this works. If you have any problems, leave it. Leave any kind of comments in this comment section below. Hope that was a good bit of information for you guys to convert videos to your iPod. For more information and more information on this topic, please go to futuretechmarketing.blogspot.com. Enjoy your day.